check it out guys so this is the cheapest current mini split on amazon i picked this up for 425 dollars that's with shipping and everything shipped right to my door so it's kind of interesting there's no name badge or anything on it but so far it's been working awesome and i just want to show you this unit and we're also going to be powering this with our power station right here that is the apex 300 by blue eddy so make sure and stay tuned for that so what we did on our work trailer here we just welded up some bracketry on the tongue here and we installed it our lines come down here they go through the back side there and then they go up right here and everything is nice and sealed up down there and then we have our drain right here <clears throat> and because this is a 110 unit we just have a little pigtail so all we have to do is if we're at a customer's house or the job site we can plug this into an outlet but for the purpose of this video what i thought would be really cool is plugging it into our power station and showing how many watts this pulls and how long we could potentially run this so let's show you the inside unit and see what that looks like as well so walking into our trailer here we have our head unit mounted up here and just a traditional mini split you know we have the screens there and everything works beautifully and is nice and sturdy i've gone up and down the road plenty of times zero issues with this um, rattling around or, or causing any damage our line sets go through there down and into the hole right there so this was a 10 foot line set worked beautifully but if you have a room in your house that you need conditioned this is an awesome contender for 425 bucks shipped i'm not sure if that price has changed but it's still the cheapest unit on the market and uh, it can be a real game changer if you just want to condition a space and kind of supplement what your uh, central ac system is doing so this is going to be awesome for you know if we're inside of the trailer in the winter time we need to fabricate something a ductwork transition or we're just coming to get tools we want to take a little break this is going to be awesome because it's like its own little ecosystem here in the trailer and i'm super stoked to have this um, whether it's the summer season or now as we're moving into the winter season it's going to be just awesome all right so as we said this is the apex 300 that we're going to be doing this test with our cheapest mini split on amazon and this is an awesome power station it's super versatile it has some features that a lot of other 3800 um, power stations do not have so we're just going to go over briefly some of these features so to start with when you turn this on you have different modes here that you can charge this power station as you can see we're at 100 percent this says of course 10 days of running nothing <laughs> that's kind of irrelevant but turbo mode auto mode and silent when you're in silent and you're charging this is super quiet and it does not run the fans it just takes a lot longer to charge it and turbo mode um, is a bit louder but you can charge i think 1800 watts in turbo mode and charge this really fast or you have the auto setting in which it will do that automatically we have our AC and eco buttons here, and then we have this voltage selector. So if we're gonna be using our 120 volt plugs up here in the front, which we will be doing right now, we would be at 120 here. And then if we wanna run a 50 amp or a 30 amp receptacle, we can toggle this. Um, so obviously for our 50 amp, we want 240 volts, and it has that big boy right there, which is awesome, super pleased with that. And then of course in the 120 we have our 30 amp setting there and then we have this guy for expanding this if we want to add additional batteries then we have our ac input for charging up this guy with a regular 110 volt outlet and then over here on the right side we have our solar inputs and we can input i believe 1800 watts of solar as well and then the expansion port there all right so we have our mini split plugged in to this outlet right here so we're in 120 volt we're going to click the ac button and that's going to power on our ac all right so we got our remote mounted right here just with some double stick tape so we're going to power this up i'm actually going to put this it's a little bit chilly out it's 58 degrees so i'm actually going to put this in heat mode and bump it up to say 75 and we'll give that a couple minutes for the condenser to come on uh, we saw that these flaps opened up we've already got air coming out here so we'll check out the condenser and see when that kicks on all right looks like it's kicked on it has a little bit of a kind of a clicking noise when it first starts but 
um, right now, check out how many decibels right next to it we've got. About 52 decibels out of this guy. So already it's pushing out really cold air, which when it's in heat pump mode, you want to feel really cold air. Even if it's you know 30 degrees outside, it'll come out here and it'll feel really cold and vice versa. In the summer months, you want to feel hot air because it's pulling that hot air out of the space. What this condenser is doing right now is it's pulling warm air out of the air outside, which kind of doesn't make sense. But even when it's 30 degrees, you can still remove heat and push it into a space in this scenario into my trailer here. So let's see what this guy is pulling currently. So right now we are pulling 800 watts. I think it went up to about 900 and then it goes down. Um, this is saying it will run for 3.1 hours in this state, but obviously that number is going to be kind of a vanity metric. So what we're gonna do is close the uh, the door here, close the other one, and we'll see how quickly we can warm the inside of this space. And then once it's conditioned, that mini split is going to kick on and off. So it's going to run for a lot longer than three hours. But even so, you know, if you wanted to cool this space or warm it instantly, you have that capability and uh, that power station is going to be really awesome to have in here. So while we're giving that some time to condition this space, we have all the doors closed. I just wanted to show you a few things on this mini split. So um, we have these connectors, they're called strain relief connectors, and these are meant to keep any critters or anything from getting into the electronics. This is especially critical if you're parking this somewhere and you don't want stuff going in there. And then on our uh, bracketry here, we just welded up a couple of um, angle iron pieces and then we have one in the middle for support and it works beautifully. Um, even when I want to use this jack or the other one that's called a trailer valet, um, it doesn't get in the way here. So we simply pull this and it still clears to jack up or lower this trailer. And then as far as our power station, this is such a versatile tool in that we can power our gas furnace with this. We can just run it right to either an outlet with a pigtail that we've put in or an easy generator switch. Those are all awesome options in using this in an emergency heat situation. And we can also use this with our whole home backup power with either this 50 amp or this 30 amp and we can power an RV. There's just so many different things that we can use the Blue Eddy power station with. Um, one downside that I've noticed is it is pretty heavy and it does not have wheels. Some of the other ones do, and that's something that I think they should add to this. But other than that, um, it's a really nice power station. You can lift it pretty easily with these handles here, and uh, it does really well. So our mini split is ramping down. It's probably already reached temp in there. So this number is going to keep going down until basically the compressor has kind of shut off and it will just slowly maintain that temperature. Um, so right now, I haven't changed anything and this says this will run for 1.3 days. That's amazing. So right now, again, it's 58 degrees outside. I don't have a thermometer with me, but just the feel of this, I guarantee you it's gonna be like a hot box in here because it's such a small space. Oh man, this is awesome. So I have some lights in here and this is gonna be so nice in the middle of winter when there's snow on top and it's just freezing outside to just close everything. Um, I'll probably open this up a little bit more and just have a nice working space here and it's just still spitting out really hot air obviously body temperature is what 97 98 so it's spitting out at least 100 and probably 20 degrees right now and it's just going to maintain that temperature based off of this remote here okay so our unit kicked off it says it's pulling 24 watts for the fan it just continues to circulate air but we used basically five percent to get the trailer down to uh, or up to rather 75 degrees and then it's just gonna kick on and off to maintain that. So once this kicks on, I'll show you what it goes up to. And then in general, it'll probably run for maybe five, 10 minutes and then it'll turn off and so forth. So as of right now, it's saying 2.5 days. 
I just heard the compressor kick back on, so we'll notice this ramp back up as our compressor starts back. I opened the door and let some cool air in, so if you're trying to condition that space, you know, this will just run on its own, and if you're just in there with the door closed, obviously this is going to run less, just like a, you know, a fridge or whatever. Um, but it's beautiful how it just does its own thing. You can leave this under the, the trailer, you can leave it in the trailer, run the extension cord in and plug it in. It's just um, an awesome thing to have. Right now they're having this prime big day sale and this is marked down to I believe $1,400. So it's a steal for this awesome whole home, um, very versatile power station. So make sure and check out this product. I'll make sure and leave a link in the video description as well as a QR code right here if you're watching on TV and you're thinking about picking up one of these. Well guys, after it's been running um, and kind of maintaining the temperature inside the, uh, the trailer, it's pulling about 1100 watts, it says 2.3 hours. Again, that's going to be subjective to how often this is kicking on and off, but really, really pleased with this mini split as well as this power station. I'm stoked to have this combo for future jobs that we're gonna do out of this trailer. Now, before I go, I wanted to mention our giveaway. ACIQ is sponsoring a full mini split system that you can install to supplement your central AC system, or if you wanna condition an additional space like a garage, awesome giveaway valued at over $2,000. All you have to do to get entered for that giveaway is subscribe to our monthly newsletter. These monthly newsletters keep you informed when it comes to maintenance items, keeping your furnace maintained, your AC maintained, saving money on your HVAC bill, and that's our ultimate goal. All you have to do is go to DIYHVAC.org, click on the little join button, subscribe to our newsletter, and you'll automatically be entered for that giveaway. If you wanna see the full install video of this mini split when it becomes available, I'll make sure that video is linked right here. And until next time you guys be safe, later.